So let's talk about the SDA1, which is a computer numbing. I've been using this for about 15 years or so, and it's a great instrument to basically numb patients without having to numb the whole arch. It only numbs one tooth. So let's talk about how it works. So this is the unit. So I'm, I'm not gonna go into the details, but basically you put the local anesthetics here and then it has kind of like this hose and it has the needle. It has a really, really tiny needle. So basically you infiltrate around the tooth and uh, <clears throat> it gets the tooth really, really numb and it works right away. So one of the biggest benefits of this unit is that you can work almost immediately once you numb the patient. The way you get the tooth numb is basically you put the needle in the PDL or periodontal ligament and then you use the foot pedal to start the local anesthetics basically flowing and then you're going to watch this meter basically build up pressure and it's going to get the tooth basically really numb and usually use about one third to maybe half a carpule per one to two teeth. And it will get the tooth so numb that you can do a root canal, you can even extract the tooth and it, it basically the anesthetic is going to last for about 30 minutes. So you do have to work pretty quickly, but the nice thing is you don't have to wait. Once you get the tooth numb, basically you can go to work and you can work right away. You can just use regular lidocaine with 100,000 epi and uh, basically we'll get the patient numb within about 30 seconds to a minute and then you can do the procedure right away. And the other nice thing is patients, especially in the lower arch patients, won't have that numb lip feeling because it's only, it only and numbs that one tooth you're working on. Now there's something really to keep in mind and that is how you place the needle. So I'm going to explain this because this is the biggest problem that a lot of doctors have. So I'm going to pretend that this is the needle, this is the tip of the needle and how you're supposed to hold it. So let's just pretend that my head is the tooth and this is kind of like the ligament. You need to position the needle so it's facing to the tooth. If you rotate it, it's not going to work. It's going to squirt the, the anesthetic basically all over the place. So you need to position the needle so it's positioned towards the tooth. And the way you do that is you basically press down until it reaches the bottom of the periodontal ligament and then you start the anesthetic flow with the foot pedal and then basically once the pressure builds up you just turn the needle just a little bit to reduce the pressure if the pressure is too low you position the needle you keep turning this and this is the tricky part this is uh, what you really need to get used to and you need to practice so again make sure that the bevel part of the needle is facing the tooth otherwise it's not going to work and this needle positioning is basically the trickiest part of the whole thing of the SDA1. Once you get this done, you can numb any tooth and it will, it will get really, really numb and you can work on it. And the nice thing, anesthesia is going to wear off somewhere around 30 minutes. And where you monitor the pressure position is basically on this gauge. It's supposed to be up to the orange and the green. And that's uh, basically showing you that anesthesia is getting down to the periodontal ligament. If it's down here, it's not getting the tooth numb. You need to get the pressure way up here. And that's how you do that trick with, you know, rotating this needle with the bevel towards the tooth. By the way, I'm Dr. Negi. I teach orthodontics as well as consulting in the U.S. as well in Europe. If you have any questions about this, feel free to DM me or my link is in my bio.